I am dressed in many layers because it is about to get really wet and really cold. We're heading out on the water with Bree and one of her farmers, Karen Cooper. So we're here in Wheeler's Bay, and I'm sitting here with Karen Cooper, the first lobsterman and kelp farmer in the state of Maine. And what attracted you to seaweed, to kelp generally? So my best friend, Michelle, got breast cancer, and she decided that she was going to eat raw and nothing but raw. So we were having lunch one day, and she was eating seaweed salad, which I thought looked disgusting and probably tasted disgusting. And she's like, no, it, it doesn't. So I tried it, and I was like, you're right, <laughs> it does taste good. So I looked up online about seaweed and I came across these two wonderful people who have helped me along the way and just got me started and this is my fourth year harvesting kelp. And what is the process of harvesting the kelp? You go over, you untie your lines, you put it through your block on your hauler and just cut it off as it comes up. That's it. Yeah, it's simple. Probably easier than fishing for lobster. Uh, yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, I can put the seed in there and I know it's going to grow. I can put a trap somewhere. It doesn't mean I'm going to catch a lobster. <laughs> I wish it worked like that. I wish it was the same. is an incredible plant. It actually grows very, very quickly and it acts as a carbon sink. So through photosynthesis, it pulls in carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus and outputs oxygen. And there's a halo that's created around these kelp forests of remediated water. We just finished watching Keith and Ben uh, and also Karen harvest all of this kelp. How much do you think you brought in today? Approximately 13 to 1,500 pounds. So how long does it take for these guys to grow? They're huge. We seeded this actually in mid-December, and we're harvesting now. And right now, it's about the tail end of May. Right, it is. The kelp actually is a net positive for the oceans because it's pulling in all that yes, it carbon is. and all that nitrogen. Yeah. I mean, this is something that is really exploding. It's creating such new opportunities it for is. people like you who make their living yeah. out yeah. of the ocean. Yeah, it is, it is for us because our lobster in season is closed down at about five months and uh, we need something else. And so how does the relationship between you and the folks at Atlantic Sea Farms work? They basically contract us to buy it and then they send me the seed and then they buy it all from us and take it all and keep track and make sure we're doing it right. We do a lot of communication with James coming back and forth to make sure the product is right and on time and taken care of. So do you enjoy this? Yes, I do. Something different, something new. Yeah? Getting tired of the lobster and you know, not making any money at it. Just like an adventure. <laughs> Once in a while. You know, you can't just sit on your laurels forever. You gotta try something different. And uh, we appreciate these guys, you know, hooking up with us and giving us a chance. 